Hello, I'm Neil McKee from Inmon Corporation. Today I'm going to demonstrate Eslo RT Flood Protect, a product for filtering DDoS flood attacks. This diagram shows the mechanism. We are using wire speed hardware Eslo traffic monitoring from the switch to drive flexible software defined analytics, which can then deploy wire speed hardware filtering rules using hybrid OpenFlow, all with sub-second response time. The effect is to efficiently remove the attack traffic and allow the normal traffic through. The detection filters loaded here are actually enough to cover most known flood attacks. The well-known amplification attacks for Chargen, NTP, SNMP, ICMP and DNS are all detected here and there are some general rules you might run as a catch-all but perhaps with a higher threshold. There is no hard limit on the number of rules that can be loaded here which is helpful if you want different behavior for different end customers. When the goal is just to eliminate large flood attacks, the core rule set can be relatively concise. Notice how the filters being applied here are on fields deep within the protocol headers in the traffic. This is the advantage of using SFlow, which exposes the whole header for examination even inside tunnels. That makes it easier to tell the difference between attack traffic and normal traffic, and new field decodes can be added without even restarting the SFlow agent on the switch. In this demo, we're going to simulate an NTP reflection attack but first we'll run it with blocking disabled. So on this page, we have a chart for each filter, and I have an attacker in red and a victim down here in white. I'll start the attack. The charts below show that the attack is being identified as attack traffic, and the level is blown through the configured threshold. Now we'll stop the attack and turn blocking back on. Notice at the bottom of the screen, we have a table of the current OpenFlow filters deployed in the switch. So that's where we'll see the details appear of any blocking rules that are added there. So now when I start the attack this time, you see the attack is blocked almost straight away. Now we're running this with a short timeout. So after just about 10 or 15 seconds, you will see the filter is automatically removed. But if the attack is still going, a new filter will be added back again immediately. And on the chart, we'll see that the traffic oscillates but never gets far above the threshold. Thank you for watching the demonstration. Please contact Inmon for more information.